Alright guys, what's up? Al from It's Android World here. Today taking another full ROM review and tutorial of a Hero ROM. And this may be the best Hero ROM I've ever flashed. This is of MLIGN 3.3. Um, I have it right here, running on my G1, and it is really, really fast. So here it is. Lock screen is the stock Hero throttle. As you can see, I can go up and down. Kind of transparent. You can see my clock in the background of my Hero dock. T-Mobile time and date, and I can just swipe it down to unlock, and the clock will readjust itself. Um, I got the default hero bar down here. You just got the application drawer, the phone application, and the add to home screen key. Um, and of course, with Sense, you get the seven home screens with this little indicator down here that lets you know what page you're on. And it is just absolutely smooth as can be. As you can probably see, it also is fast. It's not like the other Hero ROM I reviewed that it's just super, super smooth, but it's not fast. This one's fast and smooth, and it's really, really great. We'll go ahead and jump into settings. See, it loads really fast. Swipe up and go to sound and display. And we'll swipe up, and let's turn the brightness all the way up. So, of course, this Hero ROM is based off of 1.5. This is a stock Hero ROM. Um... And if I jump back into settings, sorry about that. As you see, it still does load really fast. Go to About Phone. It is 1.5, and it is MLIGN Hero. And I don't think you can see that it's 3.3. But anyways, opening up the application drawer is very fast, and flicking through it is just as fast. Uh, what's actually really nice is you get the missed call application, you get terminal emulator, and you get wired tether and wireless tether, which is really, really nice. Um, and I do like that. And of course, you get all your full screen widgets and everything. Um, the notification bar that you pull down is not transparent at all. It's completely blocked off by that white center. I don't know if I like that at all. I do really, really enjoy being transparent, like in Trojan Final. But, um, you know, it, it's still super, super fast here around, so that little tiny thing doesn't bother me too much. Um, if we go ahead and go to our blank screen and hit Add to Home Screen, you you get your shortcuts. Bookmark, Gmail label, mail inbox, music playlist, person, and, or program. And you get your HTC widgets. You get bookmarks, and you get all two of your bookmarks, or both of them. You get your two calendar widgets. And you get all 12 of your clocks, which you guys have seen in like all my Hero ROM videos. <laughs> um, you get your mail and messages widget. There's your mail, and there's your messages. And your, um, oh, excuse me, and your music widgets. There's two of them. Um, you also have your two people widgets and your photo album and photo frame widget there's your search widget and your settings which are the default toggles for your home screen like airplane bluetooth gps mobile work mobile network and wi-fi toggles you get um, your twitter widgets there's two of those and your three weather widgets so you get all the default htc hero widgets and also you get your Android widgets. You get the analog clock, calendar, music, picture frame, and search. So there's two different picture frames you can choose through. And then there's your folders. So that's the add to home screen button. Let's go ahead and see how fast opening up applications is. Tap on messages. You see it does open up pretty quick. And you will see compose new message here right about now. Tap compose new message. We can hit type to compose. And see how fast the keyboard pops up. There it is. And of course, you get the HTC IME keyboard. Hands down, the best Android keyboard there is. And I like this one because it has the colon right there, the two dots, while some other ones don't have that. So I like this HTC IME keyboard a lot better. We'll go ahead and launch open the browser. And I'll load, I'll load a Flash page right now, and I'll be right back. All right, so I loaded up a Flash video. And we'll see if we can hear it. Here it is, and this is actually in the browser. I can pan through wherever I want, and the flash video still runs, which is really, really cool. And I have multi touch, which is quite smooth. You can scale it pretty perfectly there. And you can see flash actually works. And of course, so does auto rotate, and I can rotate the phone. 
And you can see the guy moving right there. So yeah, that's a really, really cool feature, and Flash is completely enabled here. Don't know about Flash Gaming, but I do know Flash Video seems to work quite well. So, that's pretty much the full ROM review, guys. You've seen MLIGN's Hero ROM before. Last thing I'll show you is that the camera does work, as well as the camcorder. We'll go ahead and launch it open. And you can see my awesome shoes there. And cords. And yeah. So that's the Hero ROM guys, it's really really a great Hero ROM, Wi-Fi works, LEDs work, no Bluetooth like any Hero ROM does not have and probably won't have, but you probably want to get this on your phone, so you do need the ENG SPL, so watch this video, that uh, there will be a pop up right here for, then you're going to get the ENG SPL, and then you're going to come back to this video and do this tutorial. So open up the USB door to your phone and plug in the USB cable to the bottom, then scroll down the notification bar and tap USB connected and hit mount and then go to your computer alright guys and now that we're at our computer go ahead and open up the root of your SD card and delete any file that's on there once again you need the ENG SPL for this to work so click the annotation that you saw before or the link in the description and um, now what you're going to want to do is just drag over MOIGN 3.3 Hero ROM onto the root of your SD card, if I could find it. And that is an 88.5 megabyte file, as you can see right there. I'll get right back when it's done. Alright, and it's just about finished. And once it's done, safely eject your phone from the computer. So just eject the phone. And then go back to your um, phone. Alright, guys. And now what you're going to want to do is unplug the USB cable from the phone. You see that awesome sound that came up. And wait for the preparing SD card logo to go away. And then turn off your phone by holding down the end call button. Tap power off. Tap OK. And let the phone power off. Also, you guys obviously know that for any Hero ROM, any Clear ROM, you need... Um, your SD card partitioned. Mine's partitioned at EXT4, 128 megabytes Linux swap, and EXT. I mean, I mean, and FAT32. Um, like all my Hero One partitions are. If you guys don't know how to partition your SD card with Aminoraz Recovery Image, click the annotation that's going to pop up right here or the link in the description. And here it is. So now you're going to scroll down to Wipe. Of course, your SD card is partitioned and you have the e ENG SPL now and the latest radio. So do a full data wipe. Scroll down to Flash Zip and Flash MLIGN 3.3. All right, guys, and when it's done, you probably know to reboot your phone and wait for it to boot up. All right, guys, and once you see the setup screen, just go ahead and go through the setup, and you will officially be running MLIGN 3.3 Hero ROM on your rooted T-Mobile G1. Thanks for watching the tutorial, guys. Make sure you rate this video five stars. Comment if you need any help, and subscribe. Um, especially subscribe. Tons and tons of videos coming, guys. I've done so many videos, and um. Really hope you guys like it, so I'll see you guys later.